Phil has been doing good work taking relief to the Bahamas in the wake of Hurricane Dorian. And Carrie has Elena Villafana Sylvester on set to tell us what's happening. I think a container leaves this weekend. Yes. Well, Lisa, I think you just did the whole <laughs> interview there. I think, I think so too. I think so too. All right, so. Elena Villafana Sylvester, good morning, welcome back. Good morning. Uh, you know, it's always lovely having you here. And finding out the fantastic work that Phil is doing. Mm -hmm. We already know that Phil does a lot of work within Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. but you also span to the region. Correct. All right, so tell me about these efforts. Now, yesterday the uh, ODPM released a list of organizations that donations can be made to, and Phil is one of them. Yes, correct. Um, so tell me about the effort that is put, being put in now to help those in the Bahamas. Right, so the... ODPM has asked us to partner once again to coordinate the collection of relief supplies that will be sent to the Bahamas. So the initial or the first set of supplies that we will send will arrive there on Sunday. Okay. And those supplies will come from Fee's disaster stock. Thereafter, we, or, or from now, we are asking members of the public to continue to provide or to donate to feel at our warehouse in Fernandez compound in Laventil. And we will arrange for those items to get to the Bahamas. And I heard Lisa calling out earlier the list of items. The Bahamas has been very specific about the kinds of items that they have requested. So those are the items that we would like members of the public to donate. So there are basically two ways to donate. You can donate by giving the items that have been requested if you visit the Field Facebook page, we also have that list posted. Or you can donate cash to Field. Well, not cash. Let me not say that. Donate to the Field Disaster Relief Account because we do not collect cash at Field. Right. So um, send um, your, your donation to the Field Disaster and, Relief um, Account. Just, just to give that information, um, it is at Republic Bank, Park Street. Uh, that account number is 1-804-3407-4708. Again, if you want to contribute, it's 1-804-3407-4702 at Republic Bank. Um, yes, so I know there are a lot of moving parts when it comes to things like this that are outside of our territory. Um, you know, and the Bahamas isn't just a stone's throw exactly, away. Exactly, yes. Um, how is it that these relief um, supplies are going to make it to the Bahamas? Great, and I'm glad you asked that because this, th th this effort that is going to be done by Trinidad and Tobago we really need to break it down into three parts. Okay. Um, one part would be actually collecting the items, which is where the stage that most of us are in now, trying to ensure that we are able to get supplies in that we can then um, send to the Bahamas. The second part of it is moving the items from Trinidad and Tobago to the Bahamas. Um, Phil is going to send that via air to the Bahamas. So directly? right now, directly. So we're expecting to send, so far we have scheduled three um, sets of airlift that will send the that will take the items to the Bahamas. So I said the first one is going today. Um, the, sorry, the first one will, will get there on, on Sunday. Sunday. Right. Um, then we will have another one that will go next week, ne next week Sunday again. Um, the reason that Friday keeps sticking in my mind is because really and truly that we, we have to put together some documentation right. that has to go with the cargo. Okay. And therefore, we need to get in the items by Friday in order for, it, in order for it to make the list to, to be sent. Right. Um, Let me ask you a little Sunday. bit of a um, more difficult question. Now, um, as of yesterday, uh, I was listening to reports on the situation on the ground and the major airports um, in Grand Abaco and Grand Bahama uh, have been ex described to be underwater, um, you know, so making it um, very difficult, if not impossible, for aircraft to land. Mm -hmm. I, mean, no, I do know that there is one airstrip um, on one of the small islands that was available. How is it that the... W do you have any information, rather, yeah. on the, situa the situation on the ground now and whether aircraft is able to land? On the okay, island. so Bahamas is actually a thousand islands. Um, it may be over a thousand islands. And Nassau, where the capital is, actually was not um, seriously affected. Okay. So they are able to, we are able to, um, to land planes there. And then, of course, the, I, I think there are a number of moving parts that are happening within right. the Bahamas. They're removing people from the affected islands to places that were um, less, less seriously affected, affected okay. or not affected. And then... 
and then they will be able to distribute supplies or house them there and get them to the persons that have been affected. Right. So there are, th th there are a lot of different strategies that are at play in terms of how the relief um, is being done. So of course they need to get people out of the if affected territories and bring them to safer ground, safer, so to yeah, speak. That's right, you know, and yeah. again, it's incredible what we have seen and you know, um, they need all the help they could possibly get. And it's great to see that the Foundation for the Enhancement and Enrichment of Life is extending outside of Trinidad and Tobago to um, help the situation. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, any any other information you want to get to the public? Yes. Um, I would like people to pay attention to the list of items because I know that many individuals, when they think of disaster relief, a lot of people think that we need to get things like clothing and shoes and so those things are not on the list. Right. So pay particular attention, visit the field Facebook page, make sure that you know what is required and uh, or what is being requested and use that as, as your point of, as your of reference. Point of reference, correct. You know, because um, again, it's tens of thousands of people that have been displaced and um, you know, amongst all the other <laughs> basic necessities, they need to be fed, for instance. Exactly. You know, so um, again, pay attention to the list as Elena was saying, and um, you know, do your part. Uh, you know, we all need to do our part to support our brothers and sisters there in the Bahamas. Elena, I want to thank you for joining us this morning and thank sharing you. this information, and again for the wonderful work that Phil is doing, um, extending outside of Trinidad and Tobago, and all the efforts that they do. Thank all you. All right, we take a short break and we come back with much more. Stay with us.